Okay, another method for solving percents is if you look at uh, what's called a percent bar. So I'll do 43% of 240 and draw a long bar. On one side, we're going to have the percent. On the other side, we're going to have the number. So 0% is 0. 100% would be 240. If I'm looking for 43%, well, it's basically this is a way to organize the information like you would with the benchmark percent. So halfway down, that's going to be 50%, and that would be 120. I'm not going to worry about 25. 25, well, it would kind of help me, but if I did 10%, which is going to be down here somewhere. That's going to be 24. 1% is going to be 2 and 4 tenths. If I do 3%, because I'm going to need 43. Yeah, I know it's closer to 10 than it should be, but it is what it is. 3 times 2 and 4 tenths is 7 and 2 tenths. And then if I do 40%, that's 4 times 10. 4 times 24 is 96. And then I add the 7 and 2 tenths to that to get 43%. 7 and 2 tenths and 96 is 103 and 2 tenths. So 43% of 240 equals 103 and 2 tenths. Same answer we've gotten on the other problems.